All right, hello. We are back, guys, with another episode of Hearts of Iron. Last episode, we took out Bulgaria. This episode, we're preparing for Romania and Malta. Malta, because we don't want the UK to use as a staging ground, and eventually you can pull into the Pacific by taking out Cyprus. And then, I guess we can't really take out North Cyprus, because, you know, they're in NATO, but it's a start. Um... So, there's a few things happening around the world. Obviously, we know France left NATO. Germany, I don't know what the fuck they're doing, honestly. They went through the monarchist path, but they're also social democrat. Okay, is there anything actually even cool here? Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like the army of quantity. I need that political power. But I also need military that can do shit Ethiopia you're still chill you're chill you're actually have the ability to attack more but you haven't even done naval invasion you're not doing anything as long as no one gets in my way oh Belgian unions of people Don't know who's the party leader here, but uh, this is not good. Let's see, are they even getting more monarchist? Oh, they are. What the fuck? Huh. Just look at that. Okay, let's look at NATO and then major countries. It's just me and Germany. All right. Commanding. This is not the field marshal I picked, was it? No, it wasn't. It was like this guy. Yeah, it was this guy. Now, I figured this was going to be a costly war. I knew this was going to be a costly war because Romania is one of the biggest militaries in all the Balkans. Got some of the best resources. Taking that airport will be key in the long run. Finally breaching the line, which is key. Um... Actually, that airport's probably gonna be worth more. Belgium, one of the founders of the EU. HQ is in Belgium, just left the EU. Can't be too surprised, because it's, you know, kind of failed. Oops, sorry, I tapped out there.
Don't want to upgrade my equipment just yet, so let's get some modern special forces. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be a pocket. All right, let's start working on our nukes. If we can take their capital, that's probably the end game. Start another line of mechanized. Wait, 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 get, get in there. Breach, 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 breach. Oh, oh, thank God. They took back Bucharest, but that's something we can work on. Casualties are looking pretty high. 40,000 dead. But we're uh, we're succeeding in our goals here. We've surrounded their capital. Gotta make sure we can take, uh, was that Brasov? Yeah. Pronto, signore. Ordini. It's another important city that we have to take because it's one of their last ports. Where are we going to go for next? Oh, Austria, I think. The rest will just be naval invasions. That was a very expensive war, but the resources we gained from it outweigh it, I, I believe, at least. Chromium alone is a good reason that we needed it. You know, it's expensive. Why are we doing so much fucking oil trade? I never did this. Absolutely ridiculous. You know what, you're just gonna be my oil guy.
Arabian Republic, you're like the only non-communist guy out there. You'll take my fucking factories, I guess, for now. Oh, support Iranian nuclear research. Very interesting. These guys are becoming more and more monarchist. Ugh. really no one left in the EU. France is in it, but that's about it. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Okay, about 115 days. Malta will fall under the great might. We'll save that for later. Let's work on some SP artillery. We can use that for later. So Greece is obviously a target we're going to have to take. Um, can we start a coup? Stage coup in the same faction so I can't oh you left the EU though so I guess that's a start maybe once Germany goes monarchist they'll uh they'll disband NATO or something Here we go. Okay. Ordini. This guy's gonna be part of the ground invasion. Malta. I see that communism. You guys are fucking getting close to I'm not a fan I don't want that in your government and if I see you go down that route you're gonna be fucking in a world of hurt if I see that focus I'm gonna nuke you if I had nukes you'd be nuked Let's see Russia how's the communist goal going oh it's actually going down Good. I like to see that. There's also these two shit bags in my country, but I mean, we could probably take them in a little bit. There's really no rush. The Holy Sea. Holy shit. I don't even think you can script enough guys to fucking fill up the Vatican. Like, they wouldn't even be able to get one division out there. Okay, sweet. Now that that's done. What does that do again? It makes motorized production cost minus 20%. Don't need tanks right now. We don't really use them. Wait, 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 what does this focus do? Invitation to the Berlin Alliance? The fuck is the Berlin Alliance? Does that even exist? It doesn't. So why? Oh, Germany's the faction lord. I'm actually really excited to see what happens here.
Let's see. Is Japan Social Democrat? Very conservative. It's like around the same thing. There's no reason they shouldn't say yes. Come on. What's going on? Oh my god. They denied it. It's an experienced attorney. It's just contemplating like what I'm gonna do here, cause these guys, Germany still exists, and NATO obviously isn't going away anytime soon. Union of Nations. What do we got here? Union. These guys are working on stand autocracy and then Formazione. Alright, hang on. How many uh is this even done? It could go if I wanted to. How many more days? Formazione. Alright, that's sixteen divisions that are gonna attack Malta. Taking out Austria and Switzerland are obviously two key goals, along with Liechtenstein, which is in the middle. But they're communists, so obviously I have to take them out. I think my what I'm going to do is I'm going to justify against Liechtenstein, and then once I declare war on them, Switzerland's going to join in, so I get a two for one, which is actually a really smart idea. All right, what are we looking at here? We got almost plan is ready to go. I'm gonna convoy raid. All right, we're gonna call this uh, operation. Uh, setting dawn i like it i like the sound of it and we have about 12 uh, days until the war starts ridding malta of communists scum and we're gonna make them one of the states of italy as a true italian state um that's like basically greater italy besides like maybe like parts of switzerland right there and uh this shit with monaco but that's like basically Greater Italy, maybe Corsica and Tunisia. Here we go. Two days. Who am I at war? Is there like a wartime thing I can press? No. Okay, well. 
Whoa. Just click on a new focus here. To be an empire, you have to have a lot of men willing to fight. Casualty wise, we're looking at 12. And they lost 1k. Si, signore. I know the population might not be a fan of us, but we secured something that the last Italian Empire couldn't, and that was Malta. So, Cyprus, I know for sure, is going to be a much tougher cookie to crack. So we'll see what happens, I mean... Can't even click on the fucking state. There. So we got two military factories out of it. Some burned tech. Trade. Just trading for oil now. Might not be able to rely on my uh, aircraft here. It's a little too far, but hang on, we'll see what we can do. Ooh. I'm not going reactionaryist. Formazione. United Socialist States, invite Russian companies, man. They're calling Trump the Russian meddler, holy crap. What is this gonna do? Sweden not doing anything, still at a useless war. Norway. Finland. Proximity to fucking China of all countries. It's kind of like a traitor move, dude. No, we got Malta out of the way. That's probably the big one. I finally cancel this oil trade. We're getting there. Almost no dependency on anyone. I also think Austria is going to be an issue because they uh, they got a lot of troops. Twenty-one to thirty-six. They might even have more than me. For all I know, I might have to. Ordini. Sorry, that was a notification I got. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send more troops up here. Looks like.
I don't, I don't need spec ops. I was gonna make those for later, but. Attento. So this is going much more smooth than the last time. Mostly because NATO kind of self imploded. But, uh. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna go for the Czech Soviet Republic. I don't know why they're in NATO. I mean, usually if you're a communist, you wouldn't be in NATO. That's kind of counterintuitive. So I might just kick out all the countries who are NATO and communist at the same time because it's kind of dumb. All right, let's get that tank focus. I think this is a good place to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more Hearts of Iron. This is Alex, and this has been Rage Hunter Gaming.